press release. Go ahead. Well, uh, Alana, let's just talk. It's it's the day. I know it's the day you've been waiting for, but uh, this day has become reality now. Just how does it feel now that you're officially signed? Feels great. I feel like um, we need to put that behind us. It's a great feeling. I know the place that I've signed to. It's a great university, and I'm um, just ready to win here at Nettleton for my last year. How excited are you to be going? I'm very excited. I feel like they're building a foundation. They've gotten their foundation on the ground, and this year I feel like they'll do big things, and hopefully next year I'll be able to come in and step in and help them. And especially being an in-state you know, product, going to these schools, state, most some would argue that. I mean, how cool is that to be able to represent Arkansas at Arkansas? It's a great feeling um, to be able to um, have an offer from the home state and then recruit me as well as they did and meant, then me stay home. I think it's a big thing, and I think uh, it'll be great there. Where do you think you'll fit in, you know, in terms of... Roll? You know, yeah, roll. I'll be a shooting guard, like running off the wings, but if I get the ball off the rim, I can take it down. Or whatever he needs me to do. Whatever coach needs me to do, I'm, I'm going to do it. How high are your expectations going into Arkansas? For myself? Yeah. Um, I set the expectations for myself very high. Just so I feel like the um, sky's the limit, so... If you reach for the stars, hopefully you can grab one down. Do you expect, uh, you know, did Coach Neighbors say anything about starting right away or red shirting, coming in and playing right away? What, what? I won't be red shirting. If I um, come in and do what I'm supposed to do, everything will work itself out. Hey, let me ask you, um, this is a great day, but at the same time, in a lot of ways, it's like a big weight off your shoulders. Now that this is past you and you can focus on this upcoming senior se season and the business at hand, Let's talk about the business at hand. What do you guys have to do to, to be as successful this season as a team that you'd like to be? In order to be su as successful as we want to be, I think that um, it starts on the defensive end. We have to pick it up against Cabot. We didn't play as def good defensively as we should have. We were okay on the offensive end. And um, like I told you in another interview the other day, that it's a lot of people on the offensive end that you didn't really get to see. They didn't probably were nervous. Hopefully they've gotten the butterflies out. We'll be okay on the offensive end. But, Defense wins championships, there's no doubt about that. What's the biggest thing you feel like you need to work on, you know, during your senior year going into the next Defense year? Defense and rebounding. Um, I think I'll put a um, big focus on that this year in order for us to be successful. We're very undersized, so I feel like I have to step down there and get, grab some rebounds and play defense well, too. Marquise was out here. How how great is it to be following in his footsteps playing Division One basketball? It's a great feeling. I'm glad that he set that foundation for me, and um, I'm very blessed. I know he's proud of me as a game tonight. I'll be there for him support and him proud of him also. Does that add to the sibling rivalry? You're going to be at Arkansas now? He's going to be at Arkansas <laughs> State? Of course not. Uh, we always support each other no matter where we go. I don't care if he's in Colorado or Nebraska. We we'll always support each other and find a way to get to each other and be there. I want to know just how humbling it is to be considered a top 50 prospect in the entire country, your senior class. Well, my parents, they always taught me, you know what I'm saying, no matter how, no matter how much success that you get, no matter, no matter anything, always stay humble. I think it's a great thing to always stay humble no matter because you have to think when you do get things, you didn't always have it, so it's important to stay humble and stay gracious. You, you talked about you talked about it in your speech, but your, your family, just mom, dad, and even Marquise, and, and how much they mean to you to be able to, to do this and have them here with you. Just talk about how important that is for you. Um, I have amazing parents. Um, not a lot of people are blessed with the parents that I have. Not a lot of people have a brother that they can look up to that went through the same process that they can say they did. That I'm very very grateful. Very. I'm just grateful. Yeah, how much of a process was it for you to be moving from three different schools throughout your career and to uh, be also dealing with the, all the recruitment that you had to deal with? I had family there. I had my parents. They made things a lot easier for me. Of course, you some things you just have to deal with personally on your own, but I feel like they, um, they held it down and made things a lot easier for me.